Hello and welcome to Solar System Sports News. I am your host and I have returned for regular news updates. This weekend, match week 4 of the 2020 Rugby Solar System Premier Division took place. Among this week's matches included a big clash between two-time former champions the Sea of Tranquility and current defending champions Olympus Mons. Elliot Lawson followed this match. The Sea of Tranquility pushing on early in this match. When you saw the fixtures in April you might have thought this would be the first test for Olympus Mons this season but after their defeat to Leinster on match week 1 that was proven incorrect. Now, here comes Kolo. Kolo is racing ahead, he's getting away from the Olympus Mons defence. Kolo to Rujaka and Rujaka is in. Try for the Sea of Tranquility and they've taken the lead here against Olympus Mons and the home fans are loving it. What a start for the Sea. Kolo is stepping up here. And Kolo converts. 7-0 to the Sea of Tranquility in the first four minutes of the match. What a start. Now here comes the Sea of Tranquility once more. The home fans are urging him on for another try. Kolo has it now. Olympus Mons trying to desperately hold off the Sea of Tranquility right now. I know Hodges has it. Hodges is in. 13-0 to the Sea. Unbelievable. What a first quarter for the Sea of Tranquility who are taking charge of this match. Kolo stepping up once more. And that's no problem for Kolo. 14-0 to the Sea of Tranquility. Sir Olympus Mons now on the attack as we near the end of the first half. Hinata has it now and Hinata kicks into touch for only the second line in of the match for the Martian side thus far. So Pen takes the line in. Theodorus catches it and oh he sees Madeleine down the far wing and Madeleine has it and he's made it. Try for Olympus Mons and perhaps that's got him back in the game as we near the end of the half. Peng steps up for the conversion. And it's between the posts 14-7. The Sea are continuing to push ahead. And you have to imagine even at this stage that another try could seal the deal for the home side. Hodges has the ball now. Plays it to Kolo and Kolo is stopped. Rujak has got it and plays it to Lincoln and it's a drop goal score by Lincoln. Nicely taken and that makes it 17-7 and gives the C more breathing space in this match. It's a long way back for the defending champions now. Olympus Mons pushing ahead needing a try to get back in it. Boris has it and now he's going for the drop goal and it's there. 17-10. Still, a converted try would only be enough to draw level as it stands. Olympus Mons on the attack now with just a few minutes on the clock. They need a try to get back into this game to have a chance of even getting a draw which is realistically the best hope at this stage. The sea wall holding up well though. Now Hinata to Peng and Openg has dropped it and Wasps regain possession. Stelius has the ball now and clears it down the field and out of danger. Just two minutes to the 80 now for the sea to hang on. So this is it now. Olympus Mons need to make something of this attack. We're past the 80 minutes in mark. It's now or never for Olympus Mons. Hinata. Hinata is taken down. Now it's with Madeline and oh Madeline across to Vero who throws it to Peng and Peng is in. Wow. A last minute try for Olympus Mons. 17-16. And now Peng will have a chance to get a draw from this match. What late drama here. Incredible stuff. Sir Peng is eyeing up the posts. If he scores, he rescues a point. If he misses, Olympus Mons lose. It all comes down to this. Peng steps up. And it's between the posts and that is that. 17-17 it finishes here between the Sea of Tranquility and Olympus Mons. What incredible drama, a great performance by the Sea throughout but a strong performance from Olympus Mons particularly in the final quarter of the match and a great comeback. It may be a point lost in the eyes of some but this comeback shows the willingness and heart that this side has. Nonetheless, neither side will be particularly pleased with the outcome but it was certainly entertaining. Elsewhere, European Paris RFC claimed their first win of the league season with a big 21-0 home win against Calores Basin who remain bottom of the table. London Wasps defeated Cheng Meng Fu Crater RFC 12-3 at home for their fourth consecutive victory while Vales Marineris trashed Leinster 20-0 on Mars. Making it the first defeat in four for the Irish side.
London Wasps have moved two points clear at the top while Vales trail in second place. Wasps are now three points clear of both the Sea of Tranquility and Olympus Mons. In the first division, match week four saw Northampton Saints continue their winning streak with a 33-13 win away to Bath. Gibran Crater meanwhile defeated Webb Crater in a narrow 14-10 home victory while Apollo 11 RFC remained the second unbeaten side thus far in the division after they beat to lose 14-0 whilst Munster. 1-20-7 at home to Gasef Crater. The Saints and Apollo 11 RFC are level on 8 points each at the top of the table. In the Interplanetary Basketball Inner League, the Sharks have joined the, the Dreamers in the semi-finals after they held the Dreamers to a 24-all draw. Meanwhile, the Rockets claimed their second win of the season with a 26-17 win away to the London Raiders. In the Outer League, the Olympus Mons Sonics have moved up to second place after a second win in a row with a 2014 away victory against the Monsters. Elsewhere, the Executioners have secured their place in the Final Four after they narrowly beat the Dragons 22-21 at home. Join us next Sunday for more action across the solar system including with Match Week 5 of the Rugby Premier Division and with Match Week 5 of the Interplanetary Basketball Outer League. See you again next week.